in today's class we'll talk about the chapter goodwill so goodwill is the value or reputation of a business in respect of the profits expected to be earned in future whichever is over and above normal profits now goodwill is nothing more than the probability that a old customer will resort to the old place so in common terms goodwill means uh, the same thing reputation of a of a person is equal to the goodwill of a company you can say so in case of reputation in a commercial term we can call it as goodwill feature of goodwill goodwill is an intangible asset so it has no physical existence it can no it cannot be touched or seen so you cannot see this asset it is a fixed intangible asset now comes goodwill is not a fictitious asset it's accounting dealt with by accounting standard as 26 as prescribed by icai value of goodwill depends upon subjective judgments of the valuer helps in earning future profits in future it is the value of the reputation that it is the value of the reputation that attracts more customers customers loyalty you can say now comes to types of goodwill there are two kind of goodwill one is purchase goodwill another is self generated goodwill or non purchase goodwill so what is purchase goodwill so goodwill for which an agreed consideration that is the price is paid in cash or kind for example at the time of purchase or acquisition of another business it arises on on purchase of business refer as issue of shares it is an asset of the for the company and this goodwill is generally amortized within 10 years or within the life of goodwill as per a accounting standard 26 prescribed by icai self generated goodwill or non purchase goodwill this goodwill is not purchased rather it is created by the efforts of the partners in internally generated this goodwill is not recorded as an asset in the books so the need for valuation of goodwill what is what are the needs change in profit sharing ratio among partners admission of new partner retirement or death of the partner when the partnership form is sold and when two partnership form amalgamate when partnership form is converted into company now comes factors affecting value of goodwill what are the factors one is efficient management favorable location nature of business if goods dealt with the business is in good demand then it will earn higher profit that is the better goodwill longer establishment of business advantage of patents quality of profit product and service market situation other factors like after sale service customer support um, like amazon good customer relation that is customer loyalty supplier availability now comes valuation of goodwill the first example is simple average profit method is a normal average profit method that is goodwill is equal to average profit that is the past years profit into number of years purchase then comes to step 2 number of years purchase is nyp means how many years of firm will earn the same profit because of the past efforts and average profit that is the normal business profits of all years or number of years now we have we will calculate the sum in the next class thank you so much